Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this week's Topical Deep Dive. And for this video, we're focusing on the 2020 Olympic Games. And yes, for a variety of reasons, they're still being called the 2020 Olympics, but this week marks the official start of the Summer Games, and that means a whole, whole lot of TV broadcasts and streaming to choose from. So if you're curious about the games and you're trying to figure out the where, when, and how of how to watch and stream your favorite events for the next couple of weeks, we're here to help. This is how to watch the 2020 Olympic Games. When are the Olympics? Well, yeah, that's a good enough place to start. So yes, the 2020 Olympics officially kick off on Friday, July 23rd. There are a handful of events that begin play a bit earlier in the week, but Friday marks the official opening ceremony, which is set for 7 a.m. Eastern or 4 a.m. Pacific. And this is probably a good time to remind folks that since this year's Olympics are being held in Japan, there is a 13-hour time difference if you're on the east coast of the U.S. or 16 hours if you're on the west coast, like I am. And yes, it's also worth pointing out that certain things will likely be very, very different during the 2020 Olympics. After all, we're still dealing with a pandemic and certain rules and policies are subject to change as we inch closer and closer to the opening ceremony. The biggest major development, at least at the time we recorded this video, came from the Japanese government. So essentially, a state of emergency was declared starting on July 12th and extending to August 22nd, which covers the entirety of the Summer Games. As for how that affects the games themselves, well, the latest, and again we're recording this a few days ahead of time, is that crowds won't be allowed to attend the events. And it remains to be seen how the lack of crowds will affect the various sports and athletes competing, but it will certainly make for a different atmosphere even for those watching and streaming from home. And again, things may still evolve and change as we get closer to the opening ceremonies, so keep an eye on our website, cordcuttersnews.com, for all the latest info. What about the full schedule of Olympics events? So with all that in mind, let's lay out how to watch the 2020 Olympics. And it's not a big surprise that, once again, NBC is the go-to network for the event. Sure enough, NBC is planning its usual multi-pronged approach to coverage, including several traditional channels and streaming options as well. What's new this year is that NBC has its own streaming service for the Olympics, and it's definitely looking to leverage Peacock as a hub for streaming highlights, live broadcasts, and more. But first, let's take a look at the overall schedule and where you can watch or stream. So on your screen right now is a list of the various events and sports that make up the 2020 Olympic Games, including the opening and closing ceremonies that bookend the whole thing. And feel free to pause at any moment if you want to focus on a specific sport, but we want to note a couple of things here. One, the listed dates here are based on Eastern Daylight Time, so please keep that in mind since we have a significant time difference to consider. And the other thing we definitely want to mention is that these listings are also subject to change. We'll provide a direct link to NBC's official schedule of events down below in the video description just in case things do change and say a specific sport gets shifted from one channel to another. With all of that being said, everything on your screen is accurate at the time we recorded this video on July 13th, 2021. And in addition to the channels you see listed here, NBC is also offering coverage via outlets like USA Network, where you can catch after-hours replays, highlights, and more. And of course, there's also online and streaming to consider. You'll have a couple of options there, including NBCOlympics.com, NBC Sports, and of course, Peacock. And we're talking about a lot of streaming content here. NBC says more than 5,000 hours will be available to stream on NBCOlympics.com. What Olympics coverage can I watch on Peacock? Well, we're glad you asked. So yes, NBC does indeed have a new content platform at its disposal for this iteration of the Olympics. We're talking, of course, about the company's own Peacock streaming service, and NBC is definitely aiming to leverage Olympics coverage to draw folks to its young service. And by the way, if you were wondering why we finally saw the streaming service land on Fire TV after a lengthy holdout, well, it's probably not a coincidence that that deal happened before the Olympics and not afterward. Just saying. But in any case, here's what Peacock users can look forward to during the games. So, as you might know, there are a few plans available on Peacock, including a free ad-supported option. On the free tier, users can access most of the service's Olympics coverage, including original documentaries and docuseries. You'll also get access to dedicated channels for news, commentary, recaps, and more. And free users can also check out highlights from a variety of events. In addition to the events themselves, NBC is sending a variety of hosts and on-camera personalities to Tokyo to provide coverage, including Amber Ruffin and Rich Eisen. Peacock subscribers will also have access to live coverage of events like gymnastics, track and field, and men's basketball. However, for you basketball fans out there, just a quick heads up that live coverage of USA Men's Basketball will only be available to Peacock Premium subscribers. 
And here's a look at the Peacock channel schedule, which kicks off at 6 a.m. Eastern with Tokyo Live. Now that's a show that recaps recent overnight events, overnight at least to the U.S., and live look-ins at in-progress competitions. Later in the day, you'll also see shows like Tokyo Gold and On Her Turf at the Olympics. And as for following along via NBC's other options, including traditional TV channels, well, we get into that next. Live TV streaming and the Olympics. So, as is often the case, NBC is offering a ton of coverage through its traditional live TV networks, including NBC, NBC Sports, CNBC, the USA Network, among others. And if you're wondering which live TV streaming services are offering Olympics coverage, well, we got some infographics for you. So on your screen right now is a list of some of the top live TV streaming services currently available and the various NBC options each one offers. In all, we're talking about NBC, CNBC, the Golf Channel, NBCSN, the Olympic Channel, and the USA Network. And you'll see on this chart we've also included the starting prices for the services listed, and that includes each company's base package if they have more than one to choose from, and it also includes any add-ons you might need to select if you want access to all the channels included in NBC's coverage. So, for example, with Sling TV, you need to tack on a couple of extras to get the full scope of what NBC is offering. And no, you shouldn't expect each of these channels to be dedicated to Olympics coverage 24-7 during the next couple of weeks. The different channels will have varying chunks of their time slots reserved for coverage. CNBC, for example, expects to have some 100 hours of primetime coverage for diving, beach volleyball, rowing, water polo, and rugby. Meanwhile, USA Network should have around 380 hours, while NBCSN expects to air more than 440 hours. And again, you can check out the event-by-event -event breakdown we shared earlier in the video for more coverage details. Wrapping it all up. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully that helps sort out some of the mysteries about where, when, and how to follow along during the 2020 Olympic Games. And as always, thank you all for tuning in. And before you head out, please do consider clicking on those like and subscribe buttons down below. Those really do help out our channel and help let YouTube know it should maybe suggest our channel to more and more people. And of course, we'd also really appreciate it. And yes, we're well aware this iteration of the Olympics is being conducted in the middle of some incredibly serious and challenging conditions. And we hope that everyone that takes part, whether it's the athletes, their support teams, the volunteers and employees, we hope everyone is able to stay safe and enjoy the competitions. And for you at home, if you're looking forward to any particular event, feel free to let us know in the comments section down below. Maybe there's a hidden gem you wish more people knew about. Feel free to sound off and spread the word. Lastly, don't forget we have our own news website, corecuttersnews.com, where you can also stay up to date on all the latest Olympics coverage news. We'll have a link included down below in the video description for all things Olympics related, including any breaking news about programming changes and more. For now though, thanks as always for watching. My name is Philip Palermo, and I'll see you next time. Take care.